Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you for watching this vlog. Before the vlog starts, I just want to give a quick uh, announcement slash shout out. Uh, there's a new Facebook group created by uh, a lovely lady called Caroline Anderson. Uh, it's called Truck Drivers, Partners and Families UK. Uh, and I promised her I would give her a shout out on one of my, one of my vlogs. So that is what I'm doing now. So uh, real quickly, uh, Caroline's husband uh, started the, uh, a job as a HGV driver. Uh, Caroline then realised it was a sort of different way of life, her husband being away and stuff like that. So she created a Facebook page, um, sort of network for people to sort of come together and help each other out and, and stuff like that. So basically, I'm a member of it. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased to be a member of it. Uh, and I told Caroline that I would also give a shout out in one of my videos. So that's what I'm doing. So the link is in the description down below. Remember, Truck Drivers, Partners and Families UK. It's not just for truck drivers, it's for, for families, basically. Uh, so yeah, go and give it a like. Uh, and anyway, let's, let's continue with the vlog. With the vlog, sorry. Can't get my words out. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel, my name is Luke, thank you very much for watching, hopefully you are having a fantastic morning, it's Monday morning, I'm half asleep actually even if I'm being honest with you, <laughs> uh, we're in the yard, it's quite light out because uh, we're starting quite late today, uh, we need to be at South Cerny to get loaded for 7 o'clock, so that's the plan, but here's the truck, we're just doing our checks, making sure everything's all working, you know, lights and everything, number plate, tyres, Ooh. camera was a bit low then so yeah we're uh we're just doing all the checks you know how it is by the way does anyone want a spare tire spare tire anybody <laughs> so yeah i hope you all had a fantastic weekend um i went to the zoo with the girlfriend the kids and my mate uh who's been in a couple of vlogs craig and uh, oh look at my wheels look they're shiny shiny wheels uh, and I spent Friday, I finished at like 6 o'clock in the afternoon, in the evening, after starting work at like 3 in the morning. Ugh. So it's a long shift mon uh, Friday. I come home and, uh, well, I come back to the yard. And I spent a couple of hours uh, cleaning my truck. So it's all nice and shiny for today. But yeah, we, uh, we're going to crack on, get loaded, and uh, I'll catch up with you once we are loaded and we know where we're going because I ain't got a clue where we're going yet. <laughs> so uh, yeah, see you in a few moments. Hello again, we are back. Now, firstly, apologies. There's no dash cam footage at the moment because for some reason it keeps saying SD card failure, which means I might need to get the SD card out of my other GoPro, but um, I'm driving at the moment, so I can't. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the way uh, I activate my GoPros is by saying a command. They're voice activated. Um, but obviously I can't voice activate my SD card out of another GoPro into another one so you're going to have to wait, there's no footage on the dash cam at the moment uh, but i got to go in a sec anyway but uh, yeah, welcome back the last time I spoke to you it was half past 6 in the morning and now it is half past 9 we are in Worcester as you can't see <laughs> you might be able to see out the window a little bit but um, yeah, we, uh, we're going to get this load off and then we're going to make our way back and hopefully I'll have dash cam footage on the way back. But uh, real briefly, I just want to talk to you about something pretty cool, which uh, me and a few of the other vloggers have going on at the moment. So if you aren't already aware, I have teamed up with Chucker J in the UK, Kev T and Scott Andrews. We have created a, uh, a Facebook group and uh, we are now one unit. We are collectively one uh, I don't know how you would word it, but one brand. Um, go away. Uh, we, got, we are one brand, and uh, basically, if you click a link in the description below, we've got a Facebook page called The Road Legends, um, and we will be posting stuff on this Facebook page, such as pictures and videos, uh, exclusive content as well. So um, this very video, for example, will be posted on my road, on the Road Legends page. 24 hours before it goes live for everybody else so if you want to see exclusive content from the road legends which is myself 
Chuck J in the UK, Kev T and Scott Andrews, go and like our Facebook page. Uh, link is in the description below. It's facebook.com forward slash The Road Legends. But, um, yeah, it's uh, something that we're super excited about. Uh, it's very early days at the moment. Um, we've already got around about 700 likes on the Facebook page, so we're hoping to get up to 1,000 um, and then hopefully go on and get more and more. But, uh, yeah, we are effectively now collectively called The Road Legends. It's all clear down there. And uh, we would really appreciate, appreciate it if you can uh, go and give our Facebook page a like. We're hoping that in the future we can attend events such as Truck Fest um, collectively as a group rather than individually like we did last time. So that's the plan. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll have to wait and see. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. So yeah, uh, I'm going to go now because I'm just around the corner from where I need to be. Uh, and I'll see you in a bit and hopefully we'll have some dash cam footage as well. Right, so we're just leaving now. I have to come out of this junction a bit prematurely because my trailer was blocking that van's uh, exit, or entrance rather. But never mind, we're going now. Yeah, so uh, where are we? So we are just leaving where we just got tipped. Uh, dash cam appears to be working at the moment. But it could come off any minute. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't. All I've done is I've formatted the SD card. That's literally all I've done. But I'm hoping that solved the issue. Uh, before, it was uh, doing about 10 seconds worth of footage and then it would just come up saying SD card failure. Uh, and when I formatted it, while I was stopped, um, it did 20 seconds and then I turned it off again. So I'm hoping it's fixed. Right, so we are now heading back to South Cerny. I don't know what it is that we are doing next. I haven't been told. Um, so it's gonna be uh, a case of getting there and finding out, I'm afraid. But um, I got a funny feeling it, it's going to be Monsbury. Build, I was gonna say where I was gonna go then. I'm not saying where I'm gonna go. Uh, so yeah, could be Monsbury next. Um, but we'll have to wait and see on that one. Have to wait and see. Uh, anyway, let's crack on, get back to South Cerny, get reloaded, and then uh, we know where we're going then. Right. You have to excuse my ugly mug for a second. There we go. Yeah, I'm parked at an angle, so uh, I can't get to the first two uh, ratchet straps. But uh, I don't know if you can see me but I can get to the rest of now on, so that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, just got, just got back here. Uh, Wayne, my colleague, is in front at the moment. He's in his uh, bandit truck. And we're behind him. He's apparently been here for 50 minutes already. So that's not a good sign. And he's on his way to Cheltenham next. Whereas we're on our way to Monsbury. Yeah, this place I'm going to, Malmesbury. Uh I had an inkling I was going to go here today, um, on Friday. So I googled it, and uh, I've never been there before. But, uh, well, that was a rip in my curtain then. Yeah, I've never been there before. Uh, so when I looked at the map, it doesn't actually look very nice. <laughs> Looks like you've got to go down like a, a small house in the state. And then uh, it's just on the right hand side, but it looks, it looks quite tight. Looking on the uh, Google Maps, you can see that some sort of large vehicles have been going in and out. I'm assuming it's just their own. But it could be a case that I need to reverse in off the road and then drive on out. But like I said, it does, honestly, it looks tight on the uh, Google images. So it's just going to be one of those things where just gonna have to wait until we go there. Wait and see. So what I'm doing right now is just putting the curtain back as far as I can so they can get the bags loaded up on the front. Once they've got the bags, once they've got the bags loaded up, about three quarters, I then move all this to the front so they can load the back up. But yeah, I could be here for a while I think.
Always got to expect that to happen, otherwise it'll happen and you knock yourself out. <laughs> uh, the last load I just delivered, put a stone all over the place. So I need to sweep that off when I got a sec. But uh, yeah, other than that, we're, uh, we're good to go. We just, uh, basically we just got to wait now until we get called in and then we can get loaded. But the time now is, it's 11.56, I don't know if you can see that. I expect we'd still be here for one o'clock. Which is not good, but uh, yeah, never mind. Right, I see when we get loaded. Right, we are now loaded. And on our way to Monsbury. Uh, I said I reckon we'd be out by one o'clock. That's wrong, we're out at half past one. So we've been there for an hour and a half waiting to be loaded. Which is actually really annoying. Uh, it shouldn't take an hour and a half to get loaded, especially when when you turn up, there's literally only two vehicles in front of you. It's just taking far too long, but never mind. Gotta get out of here. When we go left, it's normally a lot easier because obviously you've only got to give way to the right. He says, <laughs> come on then. Clear on the right. Could have gone right as well. So yeah, we've never been to this place before, so it's going to be interesting to see what it's like. Um, I phoned them up and I've said that I'm coming down in an Arctic, just double checking I drive in that way. They've said yes. But normally when you look on Google Maps, you go, oh yeah, that looks okay. Then you see it in person and it looks smaller than it did on Google Maps. Well, I looked at this on Google Maps and it looks small already. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what they're going to do. There is uh, like a house and estate, 100 yards further back with the, tar the tarmac looked quite fresh um on the google map so i'm assuming they wouldn't want vehicles turning around on that but uh i've got a funny feeling it's going to be a case of getting unloaded outside the site it looks too small to drive in or reverse in so i think they'll unload me uh on the side of the road is what i think uh and it just it's going to be whether they have a normal forklift or one of those ones that reaches over um i mean either way i'm gonna have to turn around but uh yeah, we'll have to see. So we're on our way, and uh, I'll reconvene with you guys when we're in Monastery. Right, you join me, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes later? <laughs> Not really looking at the time, to be honest with you. About 20 minutes later, uh, we are pretty much in Monastery now. I think we've just got to go around this corner. I don't know if this is themed as Monastery or not. Uh, don't know, but yeah, we're just about to come to Tetbury Hill where there is a weight limit of 18 tonne <laughs> and I am only 44 tonnes but no, this is the only way in Malmesbury oh, there's a car down on my right hand side here just concentrating on that car Malmesbury is uh, a weight limited place, most of it anyway it does have an industrial area but um, yeah, most of it is, is weight limited but yeah, we're okay to go this way as far as I am aware we used to do a lot of work down here when I was on the uh, eight-wheelers doing tarmac. In fact, where we're going now, I'm taking the right-hand turn, but if we go left, that is where I tarmacked up there. I'll show you. You know I'll show you. So there's a business park there, but we're not going there. We're basically on the other side of that park. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I did phone the guys up a couple of hours ago now, saying that I'm coming down. Do I come in this way? And they said, yes. They said, just park outside the gates and uh, the guys will sort something out. I was like, oh, okay, no worries. But yeah, it does look, it does look relatively tight. I'm not gonna lie. Relatively tight indeed. But yeah, no, we'll, uh, we're just three quarters of a mile away. It's only around the corner. And uh, as soon as uh, we actually see the place we're delivering to, then obviously the dash cam's gonna have to come off because I'm not allowed to show uh, the sites I deliver to, which is completely fair enough. If you don't know why, watch older videos or ask, ask in the comment section. I'm sure someone will tell you. Ha, ah, there's a bit of uh, roadworks here. Should be able to get around it, yeah. We want to go straight over this roundabout. Weight limit in town centre, seven and a half ton. Yeah, well, we're not going into town centre. 
we're turning right. Park Road Industrial Estate. Park Road is actually where we're going as well, so. The fact it says Industrial Estate, that yeah, sounds good. We are not going straight on. That is tight up there, let me tell you. I've been up there in a car, and it is tight for a car in some places. Turn right, turn right. Right then, so it's gonna go up here. We've gotta go past the house, house of estate in a sec. I'm, I'm hoping there's no cars parked on the way, but we'll soon see. It doesn't look like uh, we're supposed to take this right hand turn. It really doesn't. Where that car's coming out of is where we gotta go. And on the left is where we delivered uh, to the tarmac. Where the other car's coming out of, that white one. Yeah, we delivered a load of tarmac up there. I've just hit a tree with the trailer. All clear. Oh. Gonna have to go on the curb here yeah, so my trailer don't hit that car. Oh, that's tight. The passenger door's open, so I might have to get him to move. Oh, there's no way I can get through that. Bit tight, mate. <laughs> All right. Don't know if you heard him, he said two seconds. Oh, I've got to get past the van over there as well, yeah? There's a, not a van, a truck. There's a truck over there. That's actually where I'm delivering to, by the looks of it. Right opposite. I don't know where this van's going to go. There's not a lot of room. Show you the tyres are now scrubbing the curb. Yeah. Cheers, bud. He's putting his wing mirror in just to be safe. Right, I, I don't know what to do now because I literally need to go where that truck is. Right. <laughs> Bear with me, I'm gonna have to sort something out. Right, we are just attempting to get out of this now. There's a car on the left-hand side which looks uh, like it could be very tight. Just wanting to watch my tail. On the, the tail swing on the trailer is what I want him to watch out for. I've asked him to shout if it gets close. I hear no shouting, that's good. Now can I get around this car? Without taking too much bush, we're good. Ah, we're all good. Just got to put my seatbelt on. There we go. By the way, before anyone says it's, a, it's legal to have your seatbelt off while doing a manoeuvre, such as that. I needed to look to the left. <laughs> right, so uh, we are now heading back to South Cerny, where I've been told uh, to night load for tomorrow morning. Tomorrow we're going to Oxford. Uh, I think it was West Way we're going to in Oxford. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just have to see when we get there. But yeah, no, when we first got there, obviously I turned the cameras off because we were right outside the premises. So I didn't want to, didn't want to film too much, but uh, the, uh, the lorry that was there uh, just had one drop to come off. So uh, he was pretty much gone straight away. But while that one drop was being taken off, I had nowhere to go. I couldn't get past him. I couldn't go back because there were cars behind me. I was stuck. So I had to whack my hazards on, get out of the cab, spoke to the guys quickly, and they said, well, he's only got one pallet and he'll be off. So I said, okay, no problem. I'll just have to stay where I am. The cars behind me wanted to get past, but obviously they couldn't. So I said, I do apologize, but uh, there's nowhere for me to go. I'm, I'm, I'm delivering to this place. Uh, so I'm here for the, for the foreseeable future. Um, but luckily, um, the lane is a sort of like a shortcut through, so um, they can get around quite easily to where they wanted to go, but just by turning around and going around a different way. 
So luckily, uh, it wasn't a major issue for anybody. Why is someone parked right on the roundabout? Oh, it is parking lane. No, my bad. That is a parking a parking bay. That car's already flashed me through. He must know I'm a lorry driver. <laughs> Obviously, he knows I'm a lorry driver. I'm driving a lorry, but he must know I need space. He's an old chap. Uh, it must be three o'clock. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. Loads of kids about mums and stuff. And there we go. School's flashing as well. You coming all the way around? Yeah. I did see you indicating. So yeah, um, that's it. We've done two drops today. Started at half past six this morning. It's now just gone three o'clock. So uh, we've been working for nearly nine hours and we've done two drops. Yeah, I think I can make that. I put the foot down. That was a little bit naughty of me then, I'm not gonna lie. I will say thank you. <laughs> that was a little bit naughty of me. I probably should have waited then, so I do apologize for that. Um, yeah, I've done two runners today in nine hours, so it's not fantastic. Ideally, we want to get three runs done a day, but they've just not been that busy recently. Um, I can honestly see myself coming off the bag soon and doing some other work for my boss. Maybe some container work, maybe some work for B&Q. Um, he did have some work on recently for Iceland's on the refrigerators, so possibly that. But. Um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. I wouldn't mind doing some container work again, mixing it up. Um, the problem with those three jobs is that he tends to get the worst pickings. My boss, he tends to get the worst pickings off the lot. So they tend to be early morning starts, like two, three in the morning, maybe four. Um, which then obviously means we've got to start early. That's the only problem. <laughs> someone, someone commented uh, on our uh, Road Legends page. That it, it, I can't remember. Someone posted something you know, along the lines of, "It's probably Luke. He normally starts at silly o'clock." <laughs> I've got a kind of got a reputation for normally starting early, but um, no, actually, recently, the last week or so, I've started late. Just like I said, this morning didn't start until half past six, so that's quite nice. Uh, tomorrow, like I said, I've got a preload for for Oxford for tomorrow, so I'll I'll need to be in Oxford. Actually, depends on which one it is. I'll probably. If it's one of them, I need to be there by six, which means I need to leave the yard by five. And if it's the other one, I need to be there by seven, which means I need to leave the yard by six. So basically, I'm starting at between five and six tomorrow, tomorrow morning. But uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully, you have enjoyed it. Um, I know we've only done two runs; it's not been an awful lot to show you, but hopefully, you've enjoyed it nonetheless. Remember. Uh, very pleased to announce uh, to YouTube that myself, Trucker Jane in the UK, Kev T and Scott Andrews are all part of one collaborative group now called The Road Legends. So if you haven't done so already, go and like our Facebook page. Link is in the description down below. Uh, Facebook.com forward slash The Road Legends. Go and like our page. There is exclusive content that we, we post on there daily. We uh, post pictures and videos on there daily, all four of us. Uh, as well as when we do upload videos such as this and vlogs, we provide the link on that page first. Uh, and it's basically on YouTube as an unlisted video, which means only people with the link can watch the video. And the link is only going to be on our Road Legends Facebook page. Therefore, you get exclusive access before everybody else. So go like our Facebook page. Uh, link is in the description down below. So yeah, thank you very much. And uh, yeah, until next time, drive safe and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.